Probably some of the most infamous American diesel locomotives of all time are General Electric's Dash locomotive series. Even though today on the CSX, none are left. Railroads like BNSF, Norfolk Southern, and Union Pacific still showcase many in their modern day operations. So, without further ado, let's look back at the GE Dash series and where it has been and where it will be. Built from 1976 to 1984, the General Electric Dash 7 series of primary four-axle units were made to replace the aging U-boats that were manufactured from the 1950s to the beginning of the 70s, most notable being the U-20C series of 1800 horsepower standard cab units. General Electric began the Dash 7 series by building all models with the modern turbocharged 4-stroke GE 7FDL 12-cylinder engine for 4-axle units and 16-cylinder engines for 6-axle units. Important to the railroads was that the new 4-stroke prime movers were way more efficient than the older 2-stroke motors. This played a huge role during the oil crisis of the 1970s when oil exporting countries almost fully cut off their shipping to the U.S. GE introduced its first unit in 1977, the B-23-7. The model was a direct replacement for the U-23B and competed greatly with EMD's incredibly successful Jeep 38-2s, which were introduced five years earlier in 1972. A total of 537 B-23s were built for nine American railroads and two Mexican, the biggest customer being the late Southern Pacific, whom acquired 54 of the type. The units sported the more crew-friendly, high-visibility short hoods and produced 2,250 horsepower. GE's next big seller was the B-30-7, which emitted 3,000 horsepower with newer and safer cab controls. A note about these locomotives were the handful of Burlington Northern B30-7As that were built as extra power, cabless units. Moving on to my personal favorite, the GE B36-7. Something about the cab, CSX's Y and 2 paint, and old VHS footage just make this train stand out to me. Generating 3600 horsepower, the B36-7 was built between 1980 and 1985 as GE's last installation of their 4-axle Dash 7 series. Their biggest customer being the Seaboard system that was merged into CSX in 1980. Conrail also inherited 60 of these units. The last B36 was pulled from Class 1 operation in November of 2009, but CSX donated 8272, a former Chessie System locomotive, to the Lakeshore Railroad Museum, which now carries tourists and avid railroaders alike in beautiful Northeast Pennsylvania. GE's second Dash 7 model came in the form of six axle units, the C-7 series. I hope you're starting to understand the locomotive lettering now. B is for four axle units, C is for six axle units, and the two numbers in between are for the horsepower. So for 3600 horsepower, it'd be 36. Finally finishing off with the Dash 7 for the model series number. In 1984, General Electric released their C30-7 models, and all 50 of the kinds were delivered to Conrail. Even today, 15 C30-7s roam the rails of Estonia and Northern Europe near the Baltic Sea. GE struck gold when they introduced the C36-7, exactly what most railroads were looking for at the time. 3,600 horsepower able to pull heavy road freights, but still small enough for switching in yard jobs, all compacted in a 16-cylinder, six-axle engine. A total of 599 of the type were built, 60 of them going to the Missouri Pacific, which in 2003 joined the Union Pacific. 422 locomotives were exported to China, and the rest were acquired by Mexican and European railroads. In retrospect, the Dash 7 series reigned the rails for over 30 years, delivering for Class 1 railroads as long as they could. But GE's next series would probably be their most successful for the 20th century and into the 21st. In 
the late 80s, railroads were looking for a new and heavy-duty locomotive that could handle the growing intermodal and freight industry. Because EMD was currently working on making the road switchers in the infamous general purpose 4-axle models, the railroads looked to the manufacturers that had created some of the best locomotives of all time. In 1984, the first GE-8 prototype was released, and in 1987, the first installation of the Dash 8 series was introduced, the B32 and C32 Dash 8s. Yes, GE did create a handful of 4-axle Dash 8 units, but railroads were more interested with the big 6-axle workhorses. 49 B32-8s were built for American railroads, and four of the type were delivered to Norfolk Southern. These locomotives would be in hard labor for NS for over 20 years, until in 2009, NS sold all of their examples to a Brazilian railway. These four axle units ran by a GE 16 cylinder V type 7 FDL 16 four stroke diesel engine and produced a mighty 3100 horsepower. In 1988, GE built their most successful four axle Dash 8, the B40 Dash 8. 150 of the units were sold to Conrail, Santa Fe, and Union Pacific, and others. An astounding 4,000 horsepower was generated from their 16-cylinder prime movers. The final model was the B32-8 WH. Breaking it down, the B stands for four axle chassis, 32 for the 3200 horsepower, Dash 8 for the model series, W for wide cab, and H for its head end power, generating from its turbocharged 12-cylinder V-type engine. All 20 prototypes were sold to Antrek, numbering 500 through 519. They used to be called Pepsi cans back in the 80s, but to this day, there aren't many similarities. The two auto train terminals in Sanford, Florida and Lorton, Virginia use these locomotives as switchers to shunt the loaded and empty auto racks into position for loading or unloading on the auto ramps. Still, all 20 are in active operation in Amtrak's yards and larger terminals. Moving on to the real money makers now, the C-8 models. The first release was the C-32-8. Only 10 models were built and all were delivered for operation on Conrail. Next up was the very successful C-39-8. These were built from 1984 to 1987, with 161 of the examples divided between Conrail and Norfolk Southern, including 9 units being inherited by CSX in the early 90s when Conrail was abolished. In 1987, GE introduced the C40-8, with 581 of the models being sold. The biggest customers of these units being Chicago and Northwestern, later Union Pacific, and CSX that had some of their C40-8s made into the C40-8Ws, implementing the new and safe wide cab. GE reached out to their Canadian friends by building the C40-8M. The models were built with large Canadian-style cabs, cab-fixed bells, and that appealing divided windshield with the side windshield sporting the Canadian teardrop shape that EMD would soon implement into their ST60s and 70 models. BC Rail ordered 26 of the type, with the Quebec North Shore and Labrador Railway acquiring 54. Last but definitely not least is the C44-8W. A grand total of 756 of the models were sold to Conrail, later Norfolk Southern, CSX, Union Pacific, and Santa Fe, or BNSF. Early versions of this model differed from the C40-8 only by having wider or safety cabs. The C44-8W was continuously upgraded over the course of its production. The units delivered to Conrail in 1993 and 1994 were the first equipped with GE's Integrated Function Display, or IFD. All of the types sported the American Safety Wide Cab, powered by a V16 7FDL Prime Mover and a GE GMG 187 main alternator. All in all, the locomotive produced 4,400 horsepower and was capable of over 70 miles per hour with its 4-foot tall drive wheels. With a 5,000-gallon fuel tank and a 380-gallon tank of engine coolant, the body stretched 70 feet and 8 inches in length, 15 feet and 4 inches in height, and 10 feet and 2 inches in width. Santa Fe bought 152 of the type, CSX bought 375, Conrail acquired 236, Canadian National with 67, and the rest being widespread between Pan Am Railways, Illinois Central, and GECX, an engine leasing company. 
In 2013, CSX sold almost 200 of their locomotives to Norfolk Southern, and in May of 2020, CSX put all of their Dash 8s into storage. The good news is that many still ride the rails of the BNSF, Union Pacific, but primarily Norfolk Southern. What could be more successful than 756 models being sold in a four-year period? Well, that would be GE's last Dash series, the Dash 9. The 1990s came with new innovations, the end of a millennium, and GE's last Dash series installment, the Dash 9. They replaced the Dash 8 series in the mid-1990s and was succeeded by the GE Evolution series in the mid-2000s. The Dash 9 series locomotives are still some of the most common in the United States, especially on the BNSF in Norfolk Southern. The Dash 9 series was the improved version of the Dash 8 series, just with newer technology. Like the earlier series, it had a micropressure equipped engine control unit and a modular system for construction of the vehicle body. All models of the Dash 9 series were powered by a 16-cylinder turbocharged GE 7FDL 4-stroke diesel engine with electronic fuel injection and a split cooling system. Dash 9 series locomotives also ride on high adhesion trucks with low weight transfer characteristics and a micropressor with larger sandboxes for controlled wheel slips on long journeys. Let's begin with the C40-9. Built between January and March of 1995, all 125 examples are owned by Norfolk Southern today. Still in 2020, 73 of the units still pull freight for the Class 1 Railroad. Nicknamed the Top Hats, the C40-9s were the only Dash 9 locomotives to be built with GE standard cabs that were introduced in the Dash 7 series. In 2015, Ennis began a project to give all their remaining models of the C40-9s new and safer wide cabs, brand new AC traction motors, cab signals, upgraded handling, and a mighty 4400 horsepower. The rebuilding ended in November of 2018, making the C40-9s into AC44C6Ms after their conversion to AC motors and their upgraded horsepower. With Norfolk Southern once again looking for new wide cab workhorses, GE released the C44-9W and all 1,090 of the models were bought by NS. These locomotives would sport an American wide cab design and the first Dash 9 locomotive to be equipped with ATCS or automatic turn control systems. In 2015, these were rebuilt with the C40-9s into AC44C6Ms, now equipped with PTC or positive turn control. GE's last release for big Class 1 railroad locomotives was the CW44-9. CSX ordered 53 of the type from 1993 to 2004. A grand total of 3,668 of the units were sold to Santa Fe, now BNSF, Chicago Northwestern, and Southern Pacific, which are both now Union Pacific, the Canadian National, and finally Norfolk Southern. 204 of the units were also built for Brazilian and Australian railways in 2001. As tradition, Norfolk Southern and GE agreed to rebuild 450 of their CW44-9s into AC44C6Ms. BC Railed also acquired 14 of the type, but all examples have since been retired. GE also made the C38AC for Chinese railways. Built with C40-9 chassis and cab controls, the C38AC is known as the NJ2 type in China, serving on the Kuangxing Railway, which connects the largest cities in the People's Republic of China. These would be rebuilt in GE shops in Erie, Pennsylvania, with newer ATCS functions and an astounding 5,100 horsepower. Looking back at GE's earliest Dash 7 models to the late CW44-9s, the Dash series of locomotives has really shaped the direction for North American railroads. With equipment aging in storage yards, GE released these series at the perfect time. 
Even few to none are left on the CSX and Union Pacific, the Dash series still plays a big role in transportation for Norfolk Southern, Canadian Pacific, BNSF, and foreign railroads in South American countries. GE's next series would introduce the Evolution locomotives that are known as GEVOs, which are known and loved by many railroaders across the nation. From AC4400s to ES44AHs, the Evolution series would start a modern renaissance for Class 1 operators. But that's another story that's still being written.